We live together, we're in a band together, and we made this movie together. So I guess we know how to get under each other's skin, but in all the right ways. They had such a low budget and did something so great. Our budget was so high, and I think like money is such a difficult thing. When you're a student, you already don't have very much money. And then for us, like it's like, you know, we could cut back on things, but then we're sacrificing something. So our problem was like we wanted to shoot on film, and it wasn't just because of we like the aesthetic of film, we want to shoot on film. It was because the story needed to be captured in that way to keep the atmosphere. If I shot on digital, I could have saved a lot of money, but it wouldn't have been the same film at all. $20,000 was a lot. And what was it for you guys, having, having it all on a screen? Oh, $300? Yeah. It's quite a, yeah, I mean, yeah. That was just on beer and pizza too, um, <laughs> but I, that was one thing we actually, like, when we were coming up with the idea, we said we are broke. I feel like the Canadian film industry is really caught up in Canadiana and, like, really just being heavy into everything. It's got to be so Canada, Canada, Canada. Canadian filmmakers rely so much on funding from mm -hmm. government funding, basically, like places like Telefilm. And so little people get money from that. It's very much hard to get funding. Uh, if you're not making like Saskatchewan the movie, you know, and like they make <laughs> references to like Mountie Police and uh, things like that. And um, while I do think it is necessary to have art that uh, evokes some sort of Canadian identity, I think Canada doesn't really, we don't have an identity that is like something that you can be like, hey, draw a Canadian.